Hi everyone, welcome back to According to Cat. If you're new here, please take a moment to introduce yourself in the comments below. If you are returning, just say hi. If you like Dollar Tree DIYs or upcycling thrift store products, please consider subscribing. And if you hit the bell icon, it will notify you every time I upload a new video, which will be at least two times a week. So if you like and share these videos, it will help my channel grow. So if you like what you see and you find it helpful and enjoyable, please remember to hit that like button. So what are we gonna be making today? So today we'll be making this nautical home decor piece. I used Dollar Tree products except for the two pieces of wood which I got from Habitat for Humanity Restore. I absolutely love this project. It is beautiful in person and it is very summery. If you'd like to know the supplies I've used in this DIY, please check out the description box below. It will have everything you need right there. So. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Time for supplies and prep. So the first thing you'll need are three of these frames from the Dollar Tree. They are four by six. They're blue with a gold trim and I absolutely loved them. The next thing you'll need is the Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using one that I already had. It's a big container. These are from the Dollar Tree as well. They are the blue stones or rocks. I ended up using one package. I believe not two. These are the wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. You get six in a package. You get two sailboats, two anchors, and two uh, boat wheels. Um, I, I'm also using my Waverly chalk paint in white and my glue gun glue sticks as well as E6000. Okay, at this point I'm just going to be taking out my frames from the wrappers and I will be taking the white insert inside and I'm going to be flipping that over where it says 4 by 6 I want the white to show. So you'll see here. So I flip that over just in case there was any uh, blue rocks that are moved to the side, which there aren't, but it was precaution. Okay, let's get on with the rocks. We are adding some Mod Podge to each of the glass in the frames, but I think this was a very good step. Like you need to add that layer of glue so that the rocks stick down. But the next step I would change. So I would put down the layer of glue and brush it on just to get that base. Do you see where I'm putting the rocks on? So what I would do instead, because once I did this whole thing, I realized this would probably be the best bet. Oh, I'm taking out the little pieces that are like darker than blue. They have like some brown in it and I didn't like that. I would take all of the, the rocks and I would put them in a bowl and I would add Mod Podge and I would stir it around and then I would add them to each of the frames that already has one layer of Mod Podge on it. That way you won't be mixing it in each of the frames. I just think that would have saved me a couple steps because I add Mod Podge and I end up stirring it anyway. So I would just skip all that. I would put the glue base down, the Mod Podge base down, I should say, put all the rocks in a bowl with a big dollop of Mod Podge and then stir it around and pour it into each frame. I'm making sure they all get coated. I end up putting a little more on top of each um, press layer just to make sure there's enough on in each frame. Okay, now I'm just cleaning up the edges wherever I got some extra glue slash Mod Podge on my frames. And now I'm trying to flatten it. Yeah, that doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, so I say use what you have. So that is the top of the cutout piece, the wood pieces from the Dollar Tree, and I just flattened it with that.
Okay, so I take some plastic wrap and I cut them to size. I think it was the plastic from the cutouts as well. Here's my problem. I put it on each of the frames and I thought I needed to weigh it down with glue bottles. You don't need to do this step. And then I made a bigger mistake and left it there overnight, which was not smart. So anywhere that the plastic was, it didn't dry that well. So I needed to then take out the off the plastic and wait more time to dry them. So do not do this step. That is why I'm showing you. Just let it open to the air and let it dry overnight. Okay, now it's time to paint our um, wood pieces. So here's my sailboat and I know that it is a little big for the frame. So I'm trimming it so it will fit in the frame. Now I add I'm checking it there. So now I'm going to take my Waverly um, chalk paint in white and I'm going to give each of these a coat. Actually, I think I give them two coats. And those pieces are very easy to cut. They are just like um, craft sticks. That's what they're like, popsicle sticks. So they're easy to cut. All right, so I do all three and then this is where I take some Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut, I think it is, and I add it with some very gold yellow color, and I'm going to brush it on to kind of pick up the gold in the frames, and then I don't like it at all. I put hold it up, and I'm like, I liked it better white, so I nix that idea and I just add the white paint back on top because I really didn't like the way that looked but I wanted to show you that I at least tried it and I didn't like the way it looked. All right at this point I realize that my wheel also does not fit so I end up cutting the side of it and I put it like as if it's going off the side. I absolutely love the way this looked it was a mistake but in the end, it made it look so much better. So I did it with the boat as well. So both of those are going into the side of the frames. The anchor is the only one that will be kind of in the center and placed at a diagonal. But I really loved the way this looked. So I'm happy with that mistake. All right, I'm filing the edges, kind of getting it straight and just making it a little more cleaned up. And I like the way that looks as well. All right, so now I'm just using some hot glue and I am placing it on the stones. I use just hot glue because in case I want to use these frames again, that I can just pull off those wooden pieces. I love the way that looks. It looks so awesome. Okay, and I'm gluing down my last piece, which is the sailboat. All right, now we are going to glue the two pieces of wood together. I think it's a two by four. I got these two pieces at Habitat for Humanity Restore. I absolutely love that store. I can go and get all my wood pieces there if I want to make signs or anything, and they're super cheap. Each of those were 50 cents each. So right now I'm adding my E6000, and I will go back with my hot glue, and I'm going to press those together and wait until they are dry. I do add pretty much pressure here. If you have clamps, you can clamp them together. I did not, and I really didn't need to. They were fine. Now I'm pushing down on it a little bit, and then I give them some time. I come back and I decide to sand it with my sanding block from the Dollar Tree, and uh, just to rough them up, because they almost had like a coat, like a waxy coating on it, or a clear coat. This is my Waverly chalk paint in white, and I am brushing it on the wood. I give it a nice layer, 
and I go back with a thinner second coat. This is it when it's dry and I decide to go in with my sanding block from the Dollar Tree again and I am roughing up the edges around the sides and at the top and bottom. And I feel this gives it a very beachy look and at this point I'm realizing this whole piece is coming together and I absolutely love it. You see how those edges are like really rough and rustic. I love this. Okay, so now I'm taking a wipe and I'm wiping off all of the grit from the sandpaper. And now I'm going to kind of measure out where I want to put each of the frames on those wood pieces. So I'm laying them down and I'm taking like a measuring tape, whatever I had around, and I'm trying to find my middle point. So this is where the middle point is, right here. So I know that frame needs to be centered around that middle point. Okay, you see this little stone? I'm using it as my spacer. Yes, use what you have. I don't think this was a very good idea because it is not exactly square or rectangular. I am marking it with a pencil. That kind of shows me where I'm going to put each frame. I am using my fix-all adhesive from the Dollar Tree, which I absolutely love much more than my E6000. See, I don't even think I used my E6000, did I? Huh, I might have just used this. I do not like the E6000 because of the horrible smell that it gives off. The Fix-All does have a, a smell to it, but it's definitely not as repulsive as the E6000, to me at least. You see my necklace? My son made that for me for Mother's Day, and it's made of clay, and it was beautiful. As I'm filming this, it's actually my son's 10-year-old birthday today. I actually have a child that is in double digits. So when I'm done here, we're going to go out to celebrate. Okay, so I am using the Fix-All and hot glue, and I'm gluing on each of the frames. I'm using that little skewer to go in and take off any paint that is seeping out. I am straightening whatever I need to straighten, and I love that I use these um, back pieces from each of the frames to take off that extra glue that is seeping off the ends before I even put it down. All right, let's take our twine and put it around the edges. I realized I needed a little something. So at this point, I am just gluing down with some hot glue the end of the twine. And I am taking my Vaseline container and I am flattening it out. And I'll just wrap that around a bunch of times. Um, oh, but first I am making the piece for the other end just because I wanted them to be the same size and to wrap around the same amount of times. So I cut that one and get it ready. I'm going to put that off to the other side so it wraps in the opposite direction. And I really don't think it matters because from the front you won't even know. But at the time I guess I think it does matter. All right. Hot glue. Put a little more on. And there's my Vaseline jar once again. I love Vaseline. I use it for everything. I'm telling you, everything. I take off my makeup with it. I put it around my eyes. I use it for when I need to get off residue from stickers, anything. I use Vaseline, I'm telling you. It's like the cure-all. Now I'm wrapping my twine around and you notice I don't want it straight. I want it crisscrossy. That's how I like my twine. And I'm going to turn around turn it around and I'm going to place some hot glue right where that last piece ends up and I'm going to go through each of those strands of twine and I'm going to glue down what I can just so that it stays in place when I display this. And I'm looking it over making sure I like how everything looks and here I go once again with my fire. Now that I've 
learned I can do this without starting my house on fire. I'm enjoying this way too much. That lighter is from the Dollar Tree, just so you know. And I like it because it keeps your hand a little further away, just in case something would start a flame. And this takes off all those fuzzies that are on that twine. And now I'm looking it over and I really love this piece. I was actually going to write something on here like C or something like that. I ended up not doing that. Okay, so here's the final reveal. I absolutely love this piece. I have it placed up against my fireplace for now just to kind of get it ready to show you in the video, but I will put it up on the wall. I'm thinking the bathroom at this point and I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love the turquoise with the gold and the white. Those colors are very pleasing to my eye. I love how rustic it is and how coastal and nautical and it's really pretty in person. My husband just said to me the other day that he thinks this might be his favorite DIY that I have ever made and I might even agree with him. I absolutely love this piece. So I hope this offered some inspiration and that you might consider making it. If you know someone that would like to make something like this, please share this video. And if you found this video enjoyable, please hit that like button. It helps my channel grow. And remember to subscribe. I will be uploading two videos a week. And if there's any videos you would like to see, any DIYs that you would like me to make, please tell me in the comments below and I will try to make it. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. My channel has been growing so fast. So thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.